Well, hello, it's Nancy today, the lady with white hair, coming to you from in the new pond. Oh, we have some names to discuss. I thought of Fiddlehead Pond because the pond is surrounded by ferns that we use for fiddleheads and then we can eat. And I think that's a pretty good garden, actually. Fiddlehead Pond or Fern Pond. Another idea was, um, well, the new pond, retirement pond. So amazing that it can exist like this, that all we did was dig a hole, have a hole dug, and now it's filling up with water. That's a lot of water to fill up with. Amazing, really. The whole thing that it that it will fill. He thought it. He said it'll it'll fill to the top. Well, the top over here. It might fill to the top over here. I don't really think so. But if it fills to the top over here, it won't fill to the top over there. Cause that's a whole different level, right? It's a slope. I never realized that this. This field sloped. See the butterflies in the trees? And the willows. This low area will be good for birds too. So, update. Today is Sunday. It's about 5 in the afternoon, maybe 5.30. It's been a warm day. It's very nice. It's probably been, mm, I don't know, 25, 30, not 30, maybe 26. It's quite mild, but it is warm. So what's that, about 75? It's nice. It's sunbathing weather. No, I don't use sunscreen. I don't use ultraviolet protection. The good Lord put us on the earth and gave us the sunshine and whatever they say about it. I, I need my vitamin D. It's a huge amount of vitamin D um, deficit now going on. Surprised people aren't getting, what is it called, rickets? Is it rickets you get without vitamin D? Everybody covers up. Not me. Anyway, this is very warm on my feet. This is the shallow end. This is for Tyler. Tyler and Tanner. So they can be in the water and sit down in the, in the water without getting... Well, it'll be warm here, first of all. Unlike that, which will be bitterly cold. That might have warmed up just a little bit from this nice warm day, actually. So let's see. I was going to lie in the hammock and talk to you, but then I realized this part was underwater now. Yeah, I gathered up all the rocks there yesterday and gathered up a lot of the rocks from this whole area. They're over there. I trenched some of these pools. There were these pools up here. That was the other day. So today I was looking up willow, living willow sculptures and putting them on Pinterest. I'm Nancy today on Pinterest. Pinning them. I would like to do some living willow sculpture. But I don't have the vision yet of what I want something to look like. They say that when you have an area and that you're going to do something with it, you should see five years down the road. Okay. 
five years down the road. Well, I think if those roots are any indication, the canary grass is going to come back. And I planted one row of willow over there. Can you see that? At the base of that hill, all the way across. I planted willow. I just stuck them in the ground all the way along. I don't know how many I planted, but it's a hundred feet long and they're about every foot. So there's probably a hundred of them. Can't believe how nice it is right here. I could lie down in this water if it were deeper. However, the purpose of the pond is to swim laps, to have exercise, to actually move my body around. I've been too stiff. I think I'm too sedentary. Lazy bones. Do you like it down here? When you come, we can play in here together, you know. Yes, Regina, you're definitely coming in July. When are you coming in July? Early July? Late July? Anybody else coming? I'm not going to my mother's in July because people are coming. And the only one I know about right now is Regina or Regina and Jen. If Jen can work it out, she's got other things happening too. You know, the stream is moving. The stream is a brook, and it's, it's a very cold stream. I can't sit with my feet in the water. It's too cold. I like the color of this. And you know, the nice thing about it is that it's not moving. So if I put this chair here, it's going to be right there when I come back. The water will rise around it. But it won't lift it up. Look at how this is all turning out to be sand. Oh, this is nice and warm along here. I'm messing up the clarity. That's what happened when it rained the other day. It looked like it was very much clay, but it washed it away and now we have the sand showing. weeds in here. I don't want them getting taking root.
It is colder over there. But on the edge, it's warm. I should have my little net and pull those bits of stuff out that have blown in. Well, that's your update from the pond. I'll show you the pond again. So I guess it's 110 or 120 feet. No, 110 I guess. So first hammock is up. One birdhouse, a porch swing. It's so another birdhouse on that apple tree. And another birdhouse on that tree through there. I'm going to hang a hammock up there and I'm going to put more birdhouses up. Push the soil right up against it for me. And it covered a whole lot of the ferns. These ferns all come, the whole thing is ferns. And they'll come up through the soil. And in the meantime, we can have a garden there. See you later.